And when I was about uh, six months old, my parents decided that I should have a photograph taken of me, and my mother took me to a photographer, one of the best in Berlin. And he did, he made a very beautiful picture, which my parents thought at least was a very beautiful picture, which my parents had framed and put on the piano that my father gave my mother as a present when I was born. And there was this picture on the piano. Uh, one day, the lady who came to clean, the, help my mother clean the apartment, Frau uh, Klauke, said to my mother, you know, I saw Hesse on a magazine cover in town. And my mother thought, surely she must be mistaken that there are many babies that look alike, and just told her, well, that couldn't be the case. Uh, the lady insisted, and she says, oh, no, 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 it's definitely Hesse, it's this picture, and, and just give me some money and I'll get you the magazine. And so my mother did. And sure enough, this lady came back with uh, a magazine. The front cover of it said, Die Sonne in Haus, which in Germany means the sun in the home. And there was the picture on the piano, <laughs> reproduced on the front cover of this magazine. This magazine was published out of Leipzig, and very definitely one of the few magazines allowed to circulate in Germany at the time because it was a Nazi magazine. On the inside of the magazine were pictures of the army with men wearing swastikas. There was a picture of the Führer himself reviewing the troops. There were pictures of the Hitler Jugend and um, several of their activities, both in marching and in campfires and all other activities. It was an, a family magazine. My parents were horrified. They didn't know quite how this came about, except that my mother naturally rushed over to the photographer. She said to him, what is this? How did this happen? And the photographer quickly sort of closed the door, pulled the blinds, and told her to very quietly admonish her to keep quiet. And he says, Shh, I will tell you the following. I was asked to submit the, my 10 best baby pictures for a beauty contest run by the Nazis. So were 10 other outstanding photographers in Germany. So 10 photographers submitted their 10 best pictures, and I sent in your baby picture. My mother said, but you knew that this is a Jewish child. And the photographer said, yes. And this is a quote that I have always heard my parents say, who said in German, ich wollte mir den Spaß erlauben. I wanted allow, to allow myself the pleasure of this joke. And then he told my mother, and you see, I was right. Of all the babies, they picked this baby as the perfect Aryan. It was a beauty competition to select a baby that would represent the perfect example of the Aryan race to further the Nazi philosophy that was pro being promoted in Germany at the time. The magazine came out in early 1935. Um, my parents were both shocked by the possible consequences that this could bring and amazed at the irony of it all. But they felt at the moment to keep, that it was best to keep it quiet. <coughs> well, before, there were several consequences that resulted from this. Uh, one, my parents noted right away that dress shops that advertised beautiful, that had baby clothes, that were selling baby clothes, had put the picture in their storefront windows. Um, postcards 
were reproduced, made from that picture, just for mailing. They were used, they were on every newsstand in the country. There were postcards. One day, one of my mother, my father's sisters, Ida, my Aunt Ida, who was living in Lithuania at the time, went into a store to buy me a birthday card for my first birthday. That was in May 35. And she picked up, she saw that picture with a statement on the bottom, Herzliche Glückwünsche zum Geburtstag, best wishes to the birthday, as a birthday card. And my Aunt Ida went to the cashier and said, where did you get this photo? She says, oh, this is not just a picture. She said, this is a real baby. It's a Berliner baby. And my aunt didn't say another word, but she bought the postcard, uh, which my parents brought with them throughout the years. Um, things were turning from bad to worse in Germany at the time, as we all know. Um, one of the things that happened is that my mother was somewhat careful about taking me to the Tiergarten and going with me places. She didn't want people to recognize me, uh, even certainly when I started to talk, say what my name was. My aunt, Masha, my youngest, uh, my mother's youngest sister, came from Latvia at the time of my birth and spent a lot of time with me then, too. And uh, she, too, was often very careful about where she took me and where we went. <coughs> um, my mother had one friend who, of the family, Mrs. Grossman, who went to visit a friend of hers um, in a small town in Germany. Uh, I don't remember the name of the town, but it was not anywhere near Berlin. I think it was in the mountains somewhere. And this woman went to visit her friend and found my baby picture framed on the wall in her house. And Mrs. Grossman said, uh, my gosh, where you get this picture? She said, oh, this was, I got this from the magazine. Isn't that beautiful? And Mrs. Grossman said, but that is Hesse Levinson. And the woman said, what? Levinson's, did you say? And she ripped the, her picture of, from the wall, the woman, and said, Levinson's? And she was going to throw it away and looked at it again and said, no, this baby is too cute, and she hung it back on the wall. 